body of Alfred Sloan, wealthy eccentric, was discovered last night in Washington Park. He had been strangled and robbed. The police are proceeding on the theory that Sloan was the victim of a gang of hoodlums. How'd I get here? Remember. Six o'clock. I was sorry to see the day come to an end. It had been a wonderful day. But everything seemed wonderful when I was with Mona. Mona. So near and yet so distant. She had no idea how I felt and I couldn't let her know. She was married. And though I respected her marriage, she somehow become very important in my life. It was something about her that set her apart from any woman I'd ever known. You wait, Elliot. I'll get you. You just wait. Next week, nobody will come to walk you home. It's working out real nice, ain't it? By the time they find you, I'll be long gone, hard to find. drugstore, Charlie the barber, the Wilson real estate office, everything exactly as it was when I left over four years ago. Nothing ever changes in Stangerford. If there was any doubt in my mind, it disappeared there and then. I could have told her I was born in the Tower of London and she'd have believed me. for over two weeks, and I've never seen Mrs. Blanchard. Not once. Suppose he discovered that she had some secret vice. And he tried to get rid of her to save his career. It was crystal clear. Someone followed me and turned me into a patsy, a fall guy, a clay pigeon. I was a decoy. What should I do? What could I do? Go to the police? Would they believe me? Never in a million years they'd figured for the way it looked. I figured I had about two hours before the cleaning women would notify the police. What am I supposed to do? I don't feel any shock at all about Ben. These last few months have been so awful. Oh, I'm going to be such a different person now. I can live and breathe and feel free again. You know what it is? A rat race. You run all day just to keep even. Slow down and somebody's walking up your heels. Everybody's got a time. All I had in the world was a $20 bill. It's not much of a job. An odd change and a pair of Zircon cuffs. And I was in hock to Dutch for $4,200. In half an hour, Dutch would be suspicious. I never wanted yeah, to get married. Night, he'd be hunting me. Get I only did it because my mother and daddy lost all their money and... Arthur was so kind and generous, I, I knew he'd help me take care of them. I thought they could stay with me, and then everything would go on just the way it always had. 
rehabilitation. <laughs> Looks to me like she could do with a bit of rehabilitating herself. A psychiatrist would probably say that I had some homicidal tendencies or something. Glad it worked out this way, of course. It's so much healthier. Also, it pays better. No one, no man on earth could possess her, really. She was such a thrilling woman. To kiss that face. To know she was mine, to love, to kiss, to hold. It's cruel we live suspended in each other's minds. So perhaps there is no death. It's always the same dream. I'm always in my bedroom. I'm afraid of my bedroom. I, I sometimes think if I don't go there, it won't have to happen. That's not really true. Legacy. Who was I to rob them of it? Would you have?